Okay, we're going to be looking at now at definite integrals and specifically using the integration by parts formula. So what we're going to do is I know that it says f of x and g prime of x, but this is equivalent to saying u dv, all right? And uh, this one right here, u v, and then this would in this case be v, and then of course du, all right? So that is the formula that maybe you've seen before. We're going to apply it here in this case uh, with some examples using definite integrals. So let's go ahead and take a look. Say we're going to integrate from 2 to 4, and we've got 5x times the natural log of x dx. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I kind of know that it's probably easier to integrate the algebraic functions. All right, and the logarithmics are the ones we're going to want to take the derivative of. So we're going to use this integration by parts formula, try to break it down, and then we'll evaluate it. And when I say we're going to evaluate, I think it's probably just best if you just use a calculator. So I'm going to kind of take it for granted that you know what you're doing with the calculator. And um, you'll go from there. Okay, so let me go ahead and write out what I know about this function. That is to say that I'm going to call this right here u, and I'm going to call this right here dv. And so if I say that u equals the natural log of x, and dv is 5x, so I'm going to first take my derivative du, that's just going to be 1 over x, and to find v, I'm going to integrate 5x. So this is 1 over x dx, 5x dx, I integrate. All right, the 5x becomes 5x squared over 2, so 5 halves of x squared. All right, and now I use my integration by parts formula from here. And that means that I'm going to have, uh, let's see, uv, which is going to be 5 over 2x squared times the natural log of x. And this, of course, is going to be evaluated from 2 to 4 minus, so uv minus vdu, so the integral, rather, of vdu. So let's see what that looks like. That's going to be 5 over 2x squared times 1 over x dx, and again, evaluated from 2 to 4. This right here, we can simplify uh, to the following integral from 2 to 4. Um, the 5 halves can be pulled down. All right, or pulled out, I should say. The x squared over x is just a simple x dx. And that right there is very, very easy to integrate now. All right, what does this integral look like? Well, it's going to be a negative 5 halves of x squared over 2. All right, so when you put all of this stuff together, all right, what do you get? Well, you have your 5 halves x squared times the natural log of x minus, and it's going to be 5 over 4, x squared, okay? And again, this was also evaluated from 2 to 4, so the whole thing gets evaluated from 2 to 4. All right, and again, this is where I'm, I'm getting to that step here where I said, you know, we're going to take for granted that you've got a calculator. So you're going to plug in 4, you're going to plug in 2 onto your calculator. You're going to subtract those values that you obtain and round it to the nearest, let's say, a hundredth. You get 33.52 for this definite integral. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. And in this next example, we're going to continue this concept of taking the derivative of the logarithmic function. So let's take a look at another one. It's called this one number six. All right. So on example number six, I'm going to take the integral from one to three, and it's going to be the natural log of three x dx. And so here's what I do. This right here represents my u. My dv is actually my dx, if you will. So if I say in this case that u equals the natural log of 3x and dv 
is actually 1 dx. That's going to make this one a little bit easier to integrate. My du is going to be 1 over 3x times 3. All right, which ends up being what? 1 over x dx. My v, when I integrate 1, I get a simple x. Okay, so now I follow my integration by parts, and that is to say that u is multiplied by v. In this case, x is multiplied by the natural log of 3x uv minus the integral of v du, which is going to be x times 1 over x dx, which ends up being a very simple integral if you can see it now. All right, what does it look like? It is simply 1 dx, okay? which evaluates just to be a simple x. Okay, and again, this is evaluated from uh, 1 to 3. I can't forget that, the limits of integration. All right, 1 to 3, there we go. So what do we get as our final answer here? x times the natural log of 3x minus an x, all evaluated from 1 to 3. And again, taking for granted that you've got a calculator in front of you, you end up with something like this, 3.49. All right. And I think we've got time for one more example. Let's take a look. Number seven. This one right here, again, we're going to integrate a natural log function. So it's going to be x cubed and a natural log of 3x dx. All right. So I'm going to take my u to be the natural log, and in this case, my dv to be my x cubed. Again, that's just the algebraic function, just easier to integrate. Okay. And so if u equals the natural log of 3x du, dv is x cubed and v. Okay. So du, 1 over 3x times 3 which is 1 over x dx. There's my derivative portion, really simple. Integrating x cubed gives me x to the power 4 divided by 4, straight up power rule integral. And now I write it all together. So I have my integral, I have my u times v, which is going to be x to the fourth power over 4 times the natural log of 3x. Again, this is evaluated from zero in this case to five minus the uh, integral of v du which is x to the fourth power over four times one over x dx again this one is evaluated the same way zero to five what does this next thing look like when i simplify it x to the fourth over four natural log of three x from zero to five minus the integral from 0 to 5 and it looks like we have um, x cube over 4 x cube over 4 is what I end up with um, dx and that's pretty straightforward I get x to the fourth over 4 so when I integrate that again x to the fourth over 4 natural log of 3x minus x to the fourth over four times four so x to the fourth over 16 okay and all of that evaluated from zero to five and again taking for granted that you probably have a calculator in front of you here and you can evaluate this 384.07 so really nothing to it all right, this integration by parts sounds fancy, but it's a lot of derivative and integral related stuff. And so you should kind of understand that you really needed to learn derivatives in order to find out an integral because they're so related and they're connected and you have to intertwine the two. So again, a video on integration by parts, definite integrals in this case. As always, I hope this video was helpful. And remember, like and subscribe.